Welcome back to AP U.S. History. <coughs> Continue on in Chapter 27. We're going to look at Eisenhower's administration in the 1950s and also a continuation of the Cold War between the United States and the Soviet Union. Uh, Eisenhower's years, he was elected in 1952 after Truman. Uh, he was a war hero of World War II. He was the supreme commander in the European theater. Uh, Americans like uh, war heroes, and we've elected a few in our history. Uh, Truman did not seek us uh, another term because of the deadlock over uh, Korea. His popularity had fallen uh, quite a bit uh, by the end of the Korean War. Uh, there were some things that he did that was a bit unpopular. Firing MacArthur, uh, the fact that we weren't winning the war. Uh, I think his approval rating was some down, somewhere in the 20s, high 20s. Uh, so he just decided that it wasn't worth it to run again. Uh, the Republicans nominate uh, Eisenhower for president. Uh, Adley Stevens is going to be his opponent. No one really knows, cares about losers, and he is going to be a loser. And uh, Eisenhower is going to win by a, a landslide. He had uh, kind of a fatherly... Uh, way about him. Uh, people trusted him. He was a war hero. All those things worked uh, in his favor. Now Joseph McCarthy is, we talked about that earlier about McCarthyism and uh, the fact that this senator was trying to root out communists uh, in the government and in the entertainment and throughout society. Eventually he oversteps and is going to be uh, disciplined by the Senate and eventually he will leave the Senate. Uh, this is the first time that a Republican has been elected in the White House since 1928. So Hoover was the last. He kind of bought things up, or at least people thought he did, uh, on the Great Depression. And so they've trusted Democrats from that point on. And then in 1952, he will come into the White House. Uh, this shows the election in the blue indicating uh, the states that he won in the Electoral College. Uh, the South... Uh, at that point, it was a solid South Democrats. Uh, rarely did they ever vote Republican. And this was a holdover from uh, the Civil War. Uh, it's interesting to note today that uh, the South is uh, primarily Republican. Uh, very popular. Ike uh, is for us. And he didn't uh, have to do a whole lot of campaigning. And... Uh, People just felt comfortable in putting him in the White House because of his military experience and the kind of man that he was. Uh, he brought to the, uh, the White House what he called dynamic conservatism. Um, in effect, Eisenhower maintained a lot of the progressive things that uh, Truman and FDR pushed. Uh, <clears throat> one of the things that he sought to increase was the minimum wage, and he also extended uh, Social Security benefits, which were progressive ideas. Uh, and other things, he seemed to be in the middle of the road. Um, he did believe in uh, big business and uh, providing an incentive for them to make a profit. Uh, one of the big accomplishments of his administration is the Interstate Highway Act, which is going to add about uh, some somewhere between 41 to 42 million or 42,000 miles of freeways. So, uh, 42,000 miles of freeways uh, connecting the large cities is pretty significant. Uh, under this program, the federal government paid 90 percent, and the states paid 10. Uh, <coughs> Some people explained it as conservative when it came to money and liberal when it came to human beings. So uh, he wasn't for raising taxes necessarily, but he certainly uh, had a sympathetic uh, heart for people. Um, his presidency in the end served to legitimize uh, the New Deal. A lot of the things that were uh, created during the New Deal are going to continue on. Uh, Ike sold a program based on national defense, this Interstate Highway Act. Uh, the Department of Health, Education, and Welfare was con uh, created to oversee a lot of the New Deal programs. Uh, he tried to balance the budget through his administration, 
uh, he had the highest peacetime deficit in U.S. history. A lot of this was building up nukes. Uh, in fact, he favored nukes over uh, conventional weapons. Unfortunately, nukes, you can't fight a nuke every place or go to use a bomb in every place you go in the world. You need uh, navies and conventional troops to put down uh, threats. Uh, he favored big business and lowered the tax on the highest income, uh, which is typical of Republicans. Uh, labor unions grew during his administration. He wasn't uh, necessarily anti-union. Truman was certainly pro-union, uh, tried to fight uh, legislation that would uh, curtail unions in the United States, but failed. Uh, this shows the freeway system that was uh, created uh, under this Interstate Highway Act, and you can see that uh, it connected a lot of the big cities, made it much easier to travel from uh, state to state. Uh, this program was sold on national defense. It said that uh, these freeways would help people get out of the cities in case there was a, a nuclear attack. Also, it would provide uh, a way to get uh, arms and ammunition and things from one part of the United States to another and it also could be used as landing uh, strips for airplanes. This was a symbol of the Eisenhower's interstate system uh, and it was primarily built by the federal government. Uh, there was a showdown on uh, blacks, uh, civil rights. Uh, Eisenhower did not intend to be a civil rights president. Uh, but he was one who defended the Constitution. And the, whatever the Supreme Court came down with, he was going to enforce as an executive. Uh, in the 1940s, the NAACP uh, attacked the separate but equal rulings in the courts. It would, uh, if a college didn't provide uh, separate but equal, then they would have to allow uh, black individuals to attend their college. <coughs> Public and elementary schools uh, still remain segregated, but college, they were, um, they were moving ahead. Earl Warren will be appointed uh, by Eisenhower as a political favor for helping him win the election uh, as uh, the new Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. Uh, he had been the governor of California. <coughs> Excuse me. Didn't have an extensive uh, uh, law background, but uh, nonetheless, uh, Eisenhower appointed him. He was confirmed, and he becomes uh, the chief justice. Uh, one of the big uh, uh, court cases that they were here actually it was four cases rolled into one, called Brown versus Board of Education, Education of Topeka, Kansas, 1954. This so Board of it Brown versus Board of Education is something you'll need to know. It's an important uh, case because it ended. Uh, segregation in public schools. Uh, this shows a map of the segregated schools. The red required that you segregated white children from black children. Uh, the blue optional, uh, forbidden in some states and actually no legislation in other states, particularly in the West. Uh, Topeka School Board had denied the Brown family admission to an all-white school. They lived close to the school. They didn't want to transfer their children across town and so they wanted to, to get into the local school elementary school. Uh, they were denied. Uh, eventually this is appealed and it uh, reaches the Supreme Court along with three other cases that were similar. Uh, Thurgood Marshall, this is somebody you will need to know. He is the, uh, the lawyer who uh, represents the NAACP as an African American. In fact, he will become the first African American to be appointed to the Supreme Court. Uh, he contended that segregation deprived uh, blacks of equal educational opportunities, and he was right. Uh, the black schools were inferior in terms of equipment and schooling, or the the uh, the, the building itself, the the books, the teachers. Uh, Chief Justice Warren persuades the court to overturn Plessy versus Ferguson. Now, Plessy versus Ferguson is a court case in the late uh, 19th century that said that segregation was okay as long as it was separate but equal. Well, of course, it was never equal for African Americans. Uh, <clears throat> 
And so no place in public education uh, will, where we find separate but equal really working. This is a picture of Warren uh, persuading the other justices. And this would be a unanimous decision. And there were Southerners who were on the court uh, who needed some persuading that segregation in public schools was not the way, that was not America. Here shows a picture of the team of lawyers, uh, Thurgood Marshall in the, the middle, uh, fighting this. They argued the case twice, uh, and the decision comes back in the favor of African Americans. Now, the reaction to Board of uh, Brown versus Board of Education, as understandably, in the South, they they believe that they've been sold out. They don't like it. They're going to resist it at all cost. Uh, Eisenhower felt the government should not try to force segregation, but the Supreme Court said that segregation had to end. Uh, nearly or over 80% of the white population was opposed to the decision in the South. Uh, some students, encouraged by parents, refused to attend integrated schools. And of course, the old KKK, that uh, domestic terrorist group, uh, emerged to imit uh, intimidate uh, black families uh, to keep them out of all white schools. Uh, the South uh, passed laws to prevent enforcement of Brown. They call it massive resistance, and that is they just cut off public money to integrated schools. Uh, where did the children go if the public schools shut down? Well, many of them went to private schools, or they didn't go to school at all. Uh, Davies uh, will be the, the fellow that uh, argues the case against segregation. He's from uh, the South, uh, but to no avail. He was a very uh, prominent lawyer at the time. Uh, Little Rock, Arkansas comes on the map. Uh, nothing remarkable about Arkansas. Uh, it is one of the 50 states. It's in the South. Um, my grandfather and my father uh, were born in Arkansas. I've been there. It's, it's a beautiful state. But they uh, discriminated against blacks, and they didn't want blacks to be part of the public school system, not the white system. Uh, the, the, government, the governor of the state, Orville Fallbush, ordered the National Guard to surround a high school in Little Rock, Arkansas, Central High School, to prevent nine black students from entering the, entering the school. Um, the federal court ordered the removal of the National Guard uh, to allow the students to enter. Uh, riots are going to break out in Little Rock, and Eisenhower is forced to act. Uh, he sent a thousand federal troops to Little Rock and nationalized the uh, Arkansas National Guard and put it under his control. And they were there to protect those nine uh, black students so that they could attend uh, Central High School. The first time the federal troops sent to the South since Reconstruction uh, after the Civil War. But nonetheless, uh, Eisenhower is serious about this and he's going to make sure that this happens. We're going to stop here and we'll pick this up next.